Here is our beautiful six passenger, 30 mile per hour street legal, easy go golf cart. We've been slowly pimping out. We've got the LED lights, upgraded wheels and tires. Yeah, a poor man's version of some lighting around here. You can see, it's got turn signals, it's got brakes, it's got cup holders. We've been slowly upgrading this thing to a golf cart. <laughs> uh, but our sound system, we did this originally. It's it's fine, it's loud, it does Bluetooth, it's got LED lights in the speaker, so it's pretty cool. Um, I installed a 12 volt adapter to power it. You can see this kind of plug in when it's time to use. But it's, you put their heads on it, it's rattly, it's wobbly, so we need to do something better. So ideally, we put a radio right there. Unlike a car, golf cart dash can be hard to remove. You see it's got like these rivets holding it in place. So you want to get behind that for the proper wiring. Now I've got two options. You can remove the cowl. It requires moving these six bolts, three on each side, and pop the whole thing off. The pain in the butt. Or many of them, the cup holder just hop pops out. And that gives you full access to everything behind here. Now, most golf carts run off a 48 volt system. This here six batteries here producing 48 volts. Most car radios run off 12 volts. So you need to make sure you have this 48 volt, 12 volt converter somewhere in your system. Not every golf cart has it. Um, so if you don't have it, install that first. You'll need that converter. You can see I've got a fuse box for my 12 volt system, separating it from my 48 volt system. I did a different video on how to do all this, so check that out. Now, as I said, my system already has a 12 volt converter and I've already pre-run some wires as part of this accessory kit that came with it. And I got positive to terminal, negative terminal. So I got 12 volts sitting here being unused, ready to be used for some accessory. What better accessory than a radio? So this will make this install very easy by having these run as part of this whole, uh, this is for the LED light system. Um, it's got like Bluetooth controller built into it. So you can change the colors and stuff, the LED lights. It's really nice lights. That's the part that changes the color right here. Nice system. But I'm gonna use that for my 12 volt. Beautiful. If you've ever installed a car radio or a boat radio, golf carts can be no different. Um, you got your bracket, which holds the radio in place, and then you got your decorative um, collar or ring, whatever you call it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna install this in the golf cart. Basically you cut a hole or make a hole the same size as this and you push these little wings out. Actually right there and that holds it in place. Um, some radio system comes with these little keys to remove the bracket. Kind of like an anti-theft service which is nice because this when we sit down here like this. I mean it's not an expensive radio. It's like a $30 radio <laughs> but um, people if it's not tied down they will steal it. So the next step is we're going to start cutting a hole fit this just right. And you'll see the hole that's there. I think, I think there's any whole pencils or something for golf carts. That's already almost the right size. It's the right width with these little indentions here. So I'm gonna leave these alone. I'm just gonna like cut straight down here. Get this back area off first. Maybe the bottom area and just push it straight back. There's like a little lip up here I might take out. I'm just going to use a nice, like a file. Cut down nice and slow and take my time. Alright, next I'm going to install the two sound brackets, or the speaker brackets. Uh, they're straightforward. Put in place, screw down. I'm going to put a small hole right there that the bracket's going to cover in order to get the speaker wire through. You see it covers a lot of a lot down there. So I can just put a small hole in there. Really anywhere right here, right to the underside of this, so it just come down to the underside right there, come straight down, and my speaker can go there. I've got my holes drilled, and I've got the cable running through it. Um, the reason why there's two cables, these speakers are actually LED speakers. They light up with it and they dance the music. So I got the 12 volt LED here, and I got the speaker up there. Separated, so I'm gonna start wiring these up, but I wanted to leave it hanging there for now. I can mount the uh, speaker here in a second 
Um, but I just wanted to get this all lined up in, in good place before I move forward. I'm going to start screwing these screws right in the plastic. Best way to do this is just drill a little guide hole and then run your screw in. Sometimes you have to get through two pieces of plastic. The drill helps you do that. Even if one in place is still pretty, pretty solid already. All right. It looks pretty nice when it's installed. It's solid. It won't vibrate a whole lot when it's playing music. Um, if you're a speaker pro, you know you can put some wadding down inside of here, cut down on vibrations. Um, I'll see how it sounds first, then maybe consider doing that. Got the first speaker installed. Looks pretty sharp. My only complaint is they gave us silver screws. I might go to the hardware store and get some same size black screws to sharpen up a little bit. Looks good. It's on there solid. Not gonna vibrate much. Um, I recommend as you install a speaker, you immediately wire it to the um, radio's connector. That way you can keep track of which one's which. And you can start wiring and have it set when you're good to go. So I'll start connecting this guy to this guy. I'm a big fan of these little splicers. Low voltage splicers like this. That makes things easier to take apart later. If you want to reuse it, you can take that off and use another one. Not to worry about resplicing. Now the way to get the other one speaker mounted here, you gotta take the steering wheel off. You pop this up and I'll show you how to do that. There's a big old bolt right there. And then for my model, I got road I'm road legal, so I got a turn signal and a hazard light. I gotta take this off, take this cowl off. That way I'll slide it on and then put all this back on once it's slid on. So I'll walk through that. So there's no plan like plan B. Um, I started to take this off, had the bolt off. I was using the puller, almost had it out, and it started to damage the steering wheel. I was like, well, darn it. <laughs> so I just cut a little itty bitty sliver on that, wrapped it around this, and slid it down. Not some place. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm gonna, uh, remount the steering wheel hardware and then finish attaching all of this madness. I've already got a hole. I can run cables through from this guy. I'll just reuse the same hole. Second one's installed. Now for the rear speakers. I'm going to put them right meow. And basically I'm just going to drill a little five inch hole right there. Run the cables down through those holes. It'll follow along with the other cables on the bottom here. And then come back out over here. I did the left side. You can see how the left side looks. There's a little speaker cable right there, ready for a speaker. I'm going to do the right side. And then I'm just going to zip it up, tie it to the existing lines. One nice thing about working on a 20, a 12 volt system that's been converted off a 48 volt system is that I can remove the negative from right there or just pull all the fuses. So, no arcing. <laughs> I can work on the system and not arc anything because the fuses are all pulled. So, what I'm going to do now is. Um, this is optional, but my speakers are, have LED lights, which boom, bada boom, bada boom with the music, right? So it needs 12 volt run for the speakers. So I'm running some 12 volt wire from the front speakers all the way back here. I'm going to plug them into that fuse box, and the rear speakers will go to the fuse box. Um, I want them on the fuse box separate from any other system, so I can, if I need to take them out, if I need to work on them, if I'm not going to use them, I can just pull the fuse on it. So. Uh, it's not tied to anything else. So I think that's the best way to approach this. So I'm going to just wire these into that box right there. I've got my grounds. Oop, and my positives all spliced and wired. I'm going to put them right in that box there. Boom. LED lights for my speakers. All right, time to start wiring the rest of the battery. So you can see i got my speakers all nice and neat. Speaker wire up nice and neat. Speaker wires the radio coming off here nicely. These speakers run nicely. I haven't done the rear ones yet. You get a whole saw. But I got the wiring in place. I've got my 12 volt system all defused. The red light is from blown fuse because they're pulled. <laughs> so that's understandable. Um, so now I'm going to wire the power part of the radio. Just follow the instructions here. The vast majority of car radios, like 99.99%, will have a red and a yellow. Marine uses yellow for power. Um, and this is a marine radio, so that's 12 volts to the radio. And this is the accessory switch. It tells you not to bring 
not to turn the radio on until this feels 12 volts. Um, because this does not use a 12 volt AC system, it uses a 48 volt AC system. I can't put a 12 volt switch here. So I have two options, well, three options. I can put on that another 48 to 12 volt reducer and run into this. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I can put a relay here to turn off the entire 12 volt system when it's not active, and I will be doing that. So, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna splice these together and connect it right to the 12 volt lead, and I'll use the power switch on the battery in the meantime. The wiring instructions for your radio may vary, but here's this one. And there it is, hanging out. I'm just gonna push it into the bracket here. Oh, that looks good. Got her wired. Lights are lit up. Play a bit of music here. Off my phone. Not enough to get a YouTube strike though. <laughs> and that's really it. Um, I've got one more step. I'm gonna cut some holes for these speakers. I'll just test the wiring before I went any further. And they look good. My Christmas presents to myself. New radio. Upgraded LED speakers and mounts. Get rid of this crazy thing that used to hang up here. Bother us in the head. Only one song made sense to play first. This one's free to music. <laughs>